Daniel Craig is a British theater and film actor who became world famous after the role of James Bond. His Bond chapter is over, and as Daniel says, he leaves this role in a better state than it was when he got it. The name's Bond. James Bond. But besides Agent 007, Craig has many other roles. Welcome to this week's episode where we explore none other than our favorite top secret agent's workout routine. Daniel Rotten Craig was born in the English city of Chester on March 2, 1968, and is of English, Welsh, Scottish, and Irish descent. His mother, Carol Olivia, was an art teacher, and his father, Timothy John Rotten Craig, had served in the Merchant Navy and worked as an engineer. Craig grew up in the Liverpool area, and he and his mother and sisters used to enjoy going to the theater. He was drawn to the profession because many of his mother's friends were actors. Craig moved to London at the age of 16 to join the National Youth Theatre and went on to the Guildhall School of Music and Drama to further his education. Craig received his formal education from a variety of schools, including Holiday Trinity Primary School, Hilbert High School, and later Calder Grange Grammar School, where he briefly studied as a sixth form student. There's all sorts of wonderful things that you get from being in my position, which I'm kind of daily grateful for. Um, but I kind of want to be as grounded as possible. Craig was academically mediocre. He made his acting debut in the coming-of-age drama The Power of One in 1992, and it was a promising start. He played the role of an African soldier in the film. Of course, this was much before his famous one-liners like. Craig had piqued the interest of many in the film industry by carefully selecting roles that he felt would suit his character, advance his career, and be appropriate for his status as a modern actor. Despite his classical training, Daniel Craig's dramatic style is completely modern, befitting a budding master of the silver screen. The latest Bond, Daniel Craig, has proven to become a fitness icon for guys around the world, sporting a lean and muscular physique. Craig had to pack on a good amount of muscle for his part in Skyfall. To gain this muscle, Craig would have had to lift anywhere from three to five times per week. In terms of your bodybuilding routine, you'll do a full-body power circuit on Mondays and Fridays and focus on specific muscle groups on the days in between. Perform 10 reps per set for a total of 3 sets for the power circuits. During the week, increase the number of sets to 4 while keeping the reps at 10. But you'd probably think that his workout routine is quite complicated, but in 007 style, it's elegant and simple. The workout routine involved plenty of circuit training and steady-state cardio, which, while isn't a bad thing, it also isn't the best approach to getting a lean and muscular physique. Day 1. Incline dumbbell or barbell press, if set inclined to no more than 30 degrees, 3 sets, 5 reps. Pull-ups, weighted if possible, 3 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Chest isolation exercise, either cable crossover or dumbbell flies, etc., 3 sets, 10 to 13 reps. Row variation, either cable row, T-bar, dumbbell, barbell, etc., 3 sets, 10 to 13 reps. Alternating hammer dumbbell curls, 4 sets, 10 to 13 reps. Tricep rope extension, 4 sets, 10 to 13 reps. Day 2. Deadlifts, 5 sets, 5 reps. Dumbbell lunges, 4 sets, 8 to 10 reps per leg. Standing calf raise, 5 sets, 12 to 20 reps. Sprints, set treadmill to light incline about 10%, warm up for 3 to 5 minutes, moderate fast walking speed, increase speed, and begin to alternate between all-out sprints for 30 seconds and rest back to walking speed for 60 seconds, repeat the sprint 8 to 10 times. Day 3. Seated dumbbell press, 3 sets, 5 to 6 reps. Row variation, cable row, T-bar, dumbbell, or barbell, 3 sets, 6 to 8 reps. Pull-ups, 3 sets, 10 to 13 reps. Side lateral raises, 4 sets, 10 to 15 reps, done in drop set fashion. Alternating dumbbell curls, 4 sets, 10 to 13 reps. Tricep extension, 4 sets, 10 to 13 reps. It's not over yet. Day 4. Barbell squat, 5 sets, 10 to 15 reps. Reverse lunges, 4 sets, 8 to 10 reps. Calf raise, 5 sets, 12 to 20 reps. Sprints, set the treadmill to a slight incline, 10%, warm up for 3 to 5 minutes, moderate fast walking speed, increase speed, and begin to alternate between all-out sprints for 30 seconds and rest back to walking speed for 60 seconds. Abs can optionally be done 2 times per week, just add in 3 sets 10 to 20 reps on hanging leg raises after each workout. 
But what does a guy have to do in the kitchen to shed the weight? Even if you follow Daniel Craig's workout routine, the food you eat must come first. Craig reportedly ate a typical clean food diet consisting of whole grains, protein powder, lean meats, and no alcohol, candy, or processed foods. According to various interviews, the problem with these Hollywood diets is that they are too strict and leave no room for failure. There's no reason why you shouldn't eat a little bit of everything every day as long as you get enough protein, fruits and vegetables, healthy fats, and whole food carbs like rice, pasta, potatoes, and so on, along with hitting your calorie goals. Health experts suggest aiming for at least 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight, 20% of your calories from fat, and get the rest of your calories from carbs. Want to imitate James Bond's persona and drink a martini or two? Go right ahead and do it. Dry martini, weight three measures of Gordon's, one of the vodka, half a measure of Kina Lillet. Shake it over rice and then add a thin slice of lemon. For you, yes, sir. But don't overdo it. In general, limit yourself to three drinks per week. You can arrange them however you want. Some people may be able to get away with a little bit more, but use your own judgment. We don't want your gym performance to suffer. He may be the world's most reluctant action star, but if you had to follow Daniel Craig's workout and diet plan for each Bond film, you'd be a little hesitant as well. You're here because you want to do the Daniel Craig workout and diet, or you wouldn't be here. We're sure you'd be up for taking on the role of James.